YouTube, it's your boy Above Average Cody here, and Ranked Play has officially been announced for Black Ops 6, and it is coming probably the earliest we've seen Ranked come to a Call of Duty game in quite a long time. Now, Ranked has been announced to be coming on November 21st, and I'll be honest with you guys, they, they may have finally planned to get it right this year. I don't want to say they've gotten it right because it hasn't released yet and a lot of things could still be wrong, but they announced that today along with an absolutely jam-packed season one. There is literally so much content already coming to Black Ops 6 and it has not even been out a month yet. But anyways, guys, we're going to focus on all of the things coming to Ranked Play and why I am beyond excited to jump into Ranked on this game outside of just the gameplay really being really good. Now, guys, obviously, as mentioned, this is the earliest we've seen Ranked come to a game in quite some time. Um, if you've been playing the franchise for four or even five years now, it's been the bread and butter for Activision and Call of Duty to just hold back ranked for three, four, five, even six months. I don't know if they just think they want to, like, revamp some hype and bring it back to the game, but Ranked Play is releasing really, really early, and guys, it's coming with some really good features. The first one being map and mode veto, guys. Before each match, three map mode combos are presented, and teams independ uh, independently vote to veto one of the presented options, and this is fantastic for a lot of reasons, because we have not had any form of map voting, map veto, nothing. You just get a map, you get a mode, and you are stuck with it. And what happens in this situation is you get hard point, hard point, hard point, control, hard point, and you never get the god tier search and destroy. My, my friend, search and destroy wins championships in the CDL. I want to pretend I'm playing like Shotzi out there uh, in a round 11, but instead you just get a ton of respawn modes, and I understand a lot of people like respawn modes, but playing so many on the same maps back to back, it's so sickening. So hopefully this map veto system gets us, you know, the maps and modes that we actually want to play, especially since a lot of the maps are kind of choppy on this game. Now there will also be a forfeit. Vote with your team to end a match early if your team team is getting blown out and this is absolutely embarrassing but this is fantastic because I can get the hell out of those lobbies that I'm getting thrashed in faster and the team that's thrashing me can get back to the lobby and jump into the next game which is just great for both parties next up guys full parties of four can play together regardless of their individual rank no more keeping me from playing with my friends, whether they're too low or they're too high because I just hopped on the game. Um, this is really good news. I understand why ranked restrictions are in place. Uh, hopefully, it'll be balanced enough where they can match make pretty evenly. Uh, hopefully, we don't have too many bronzes queuing up with, like, platinum players. I really don't know how that's going to work. But, hey, as long as I get to play with the homies, I'm I'm overall pretty pumped about it. And then finally, guys, the next big thing is each player's first loss of the day will be forgiven and not deduct SR. Now, this normally only happens either A, at the reset of a new season, or B, if you jump up and hit a new rank. And I don't think it's necessary, but hey, you get on, the hands are ice cold, you get a search and destroy for your first game, and it's just not you playing out there. You're not warmed up, you're not ready to go. I'm perfectly fine with the first game being forgiven, and if you win, you'll still get SR, which is pretty sick. Um, and guys, this is all really good stuff. There are some bad things, but I will say the rank system has been improving over the years. If you guys remember back in Cold War and Modern Warfare 2019, we had um, we had the systems where it was like the ladder system, and you had to play a million games to try to get to the top of your ladder and there was a level system and your rank didn't really matter it, it was all over the place there was no directive but in these last couple of years they've kind of built a system that kind of makes sense you know you work your way up you start at bronze you climb up to platinum crimson wherever you're trying to go they have a top 250 list it's, it's been a pretty good system overall and there's also an overall level so even if you can't break through that gold rank or whatever you're stuck at you're still progressing and getting all these great levels it's a really good system now time to get to the negatives the matchmaking has been mmr for quite some time and i'm a firm believer that what is the point of having a rank tied to your name if you're just going to match make me off how i perform in the games i swear p games are just obsessed with hidden hidden matchmaking rank, which is kind of just something tied to how well you perform that you can't physically see, and then also just 
high SBMM, low SBMM. High SBMM, like just throwing you around up and down, trying to keep you keep playing the game. Match make me off rank. Match make me and the homies off rank. That's what I really want to see, but I, I don't expect to see it this game. That's why I'm putting this in the negatives category. Next up, guys. The skins are booty. I'm just going to say it. The ranked skins every single year are just absolute trash, and I kind of just have to bring those up. And then next up, we'll have to see how the how the guns work. You know, what attachments are being banned? What guns are being banned? Are we following what the pros are doing? Because if we're following what the pros are doing, you have to remove pretty much every single gun except two of them. And if we're not doing that at least take out the overpowered ones because I'm not trying to hop on, you know, run whatever shots these class is and then run into some kid using an AS Val beaming me two shots to the head and I'm down. Um, I really don't know what to expect from that. Uh, and that's pretty much everything I want to cover in Ranked. And now I just briefly want to discuss just how much freaking content is coming here in Season 1 because I can't be troubled to do a separate video for it, guys. We are getting three new maps, one of which is Hacienda. One of the best maps from Black Ops 4. So many good memories on that map. We're getting two new guns already. We're getting the Krig and the Sog. Both, again, very good weapons from the past, guys. Um, massive battle pass. The Black Cell Operator looks absolutely dope, guys. And just a new Zombies map. I can't believe how much content is coming to the game literally one month out of release. And I already talked about this in a past video guys that this is the most complete a call of duty game has felt in such a long time the movement and everything is really smooth it feels great the gameplay is good the ttk is better than it has been in recent years which is really good and i was really impressed guys i'm really happy with the game i'm still on that camel grind i've barely even scraped the surface with zombies and i have not had time for the campaign and they are already jamming all of this content right down my throat, not even a month into release. I don't want to say Call of Duty is back, but let me tell you, man, it took them five years to listen to this audience and just kind of figure out what formula is going to work. Now, is this all going to be perfect? Is this release going to go smooth? Are there going to be no bugs and whatever? I don't know. I, I really can't say that, but guys, just based on what I'm looking at here and how much content is coming they might finally have the formula to actually not shoot themselves into the foot and uh, actually keep the wider audience engaged and just put out good content that people want to keep playing. I mean, hey, we even already have Nuketown, which got added almost immediately, and 24-7 staying around. Um, it's just really good to see, man. I'm really, really excited about Ranked. I was really, really excited to see all the stuff that got announced today. Um long before the updates even going live and i i just love when devs do that you know let me know what is coming long before so i can kind of get excited i can talk about it with you guys the fans and just guys i don't know i'm going in circles here but man i saw all the ranked stuff and i'm like i am excited and as a as a big ranked play enjoyer um, that hasn't even bothered to grind the last couple games. Um, I'm really excited for this one, guys. But let me know all your thoughts down below on Season 1. Guys, you know the drill here. Subscribe. Leave a thumbs up on the video. And we got channel memberships and super thanks if you'd like to support monetarily. But please, don't feel like you have to. But it does help me out as a content creator. But already, guys, I'm excited for Ranked Play. You guys know we're going to be streaming it like crazy. And uh, that's all there is, guys. Share all your thoughts below. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video, y'all.